JavaScript lets you assign default values to your function parameters. That way, if you don't pass a certain argument to a function, the function uses the default value. Let's look at an example. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called JavaScript Functions. And then open the index.html file using Google Chrome. Here I also open the JavaScript console. In the index.html file, remember to link default.js file. In default.js file, let's see what happens when you don't pass an argument to a function that requires one. I'll define a function named say hello. That takes the parameter first name. I'm writing this function as a function declaration, but you can also write this as a function expression. The function returns a message using the value of the first name parameter. I'll set it to return a string using a template literal. The message. The function now expects a first name value passed to it as an argument. I'll save the chains. Refresh the page. And in the console, let's see what happens if I call the say hello function without passing it a first name argument. I'll press enter. The console space hello undefined. Undefined is one of JavaScript's built-in values. In this case, it means that there's no value assigned to the first name parameter. It's undefined. In some cases, missing a function argument can break your entire program. To avoid any of that from happening, you can assign a default value to your parameters right inside the function definition. Let's assign a first name parameter or default value using the assignment operator and set it to the string guys. I'll save the change, refresh the page, and in the console, I'll once again call the say hello function without passing it a first name argument. I'll press enter. This time the console displays hello guys. If I pass the function an argument, like the string John, I'll press enter. Now the value John gets assigned to the first name parameter and the function returns the message, hello John. Good. The default parameter acts as a fallback and protect your program from breaking or returning undefined. Now let's look at how default values work when you have multiple parameters in your function. Instead of always displaying hello before the first name, I can also pass a custom message to the function. So I'll add a message parameter to the function definition. Then in the return statement, I'll replace hello with the value that gets assigned to the message parameter. I'll save the change. Refresh the page. And in the console, I'll call a say hello function. Passing it a message argument only like hi. I'll press enter. The function returns hi guys. All right, now I'll assign a default value to the message parameter. I'll set it to how are you. I'll save the change. Refresh the page. And in the console, I'll call the say hello function without passing any arguments. I'll press enter. And the function returns how are you guys. The default message and first name. But what if you want to pass the function a first name argument only? In other words, skip the message argument to use the default message and pass it just the first name you want to display. Well, if you pass the function a first name only, for example, David, I'll press enter. The function return David guys. Since the function's first parameter is message, it's assigning the string David to the message parameter. Now, what if I just omit the argument like this? I'll press enter. This breaks the function. JavaScript throws uncaught syntax error. It says unexpected token comma. Even if you have assigned a default value to the first parameter, the function expects you to pass it a value. In this case, you need to pass undefined as the value for the message argument. This tells the JavaScript engine to use the default value assigned to the first parameter. It acts as a placeholder for the argument you want to skip. I'll press enter. The function now returns, how are you, David? Perfect. And keep in mind that you only need to pass undefined for all but the last argument. If the last argument is missing, the function will use the default value you set.